hell is this? Norway? How do I know my sound calibration? Dude, this is such a deep topic. I don't even know how we would reach. I mean, you you would need experience. You would need some kind of reference. So, you Oh, sorry. Need, what's the question? Um, how do I know when my sound calibration is good enough? I mean, the easy answer is, like, does it sound good to you? Okay, cool. But the problem with that is a lot of times you don't realize that something sounds bad until you hear something that sounds good. Good or better. Or, exactly. So yeah. you really need you really need a good reference. So if it's like stereo, you know, you can go out and buy like for example, these are ninety dollar headphones or Sony. They're used all all over the place. MDR seventy five hundred six. They're not the greatest thing, but they're ninety bucks. They're they're good for a decent reference at the least. Um, that's one way to start. If it's movie, then I don't know how you worry about calibration mm -hmm. from surround sound stuff. I, I just feel like that's something that you probably need to experiment or try to hear some others and see what you think um i i in the you know fortunate place that i am where um uh i was able to buy like every 600 hundred dollar receiver i could for the channel so i got to try a bunch of different uh room corrections and i'd say like the pioneer and sony are not that great uh, the AccuEQ and Onkyo, also not that great. The Marantz Denon, not bad. Anthem Room Correction, much better. Dirac Live, much better. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't heard Room Perfect um, because those are in units that are just, you know, multiple thousands of dollars. But, um, you know, if you kind of go on that scale, um, you can kind of figure it out. It's, Unless you actually experience it in your living room or your room, like it's hot, it's going to be very hard to tell. So unless you can get all these different receivers in, like, and who wants to do that? Like my dumbass did, but like that was for the channel. Like, really, if yeah. you want to do that, like it's going to take a lot of time, you know. And if you got like a wife and kids, like my my wife hates it when I run room correction in the living room. She's like, oh, is it that bleep, 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 bleep stuff? I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, okay, yeah. It's like, I'm, yep. can you do that while I'm at the gym? I'm like, sure. Sure, I'll do it while you're at the gym. So, well, direct too. Um, it's worth just anecdotally, there was a whole lot of people over the weekend. I mean, industry vets and people representing all sorts of brands. I think, by and large, everybody there would say that they would prefer direct. I mean, I, I think I heard just a couple times people talking about Anthem's room correction, but almost every person I heard talking about some sort of room calibration talked about direct. So, just anecdotally, that seems like the one to go with these days, mm -hmm. at least. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Yamaha Wipeow, right? Somebody said, uh, "Well, no, Yamaha. you didn't forget." Uh, better you didn't forget. Sounds, sounds better than my Ankyo. I, I I would agree with that. I would say Wipeow better than AccuEQ. Uh go to go to Best Buy and get whatever they say. Okay, so you were the. Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi. And you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. Yeah.